Hello. In this continued series of Ninja Level Shortcut Keys, let me walk you through some of the shortcut keys which relate to workbook navigation, sheet navigation, and cell or cells selection. And in between, I'll throw some of the very important shortcut keys which you would normally not find uh, even the advanced users of Excel using those. So let's go with certain base data. Now you notice the first thing I have on my workbook is a couple of worksheets. Some are old, some I have generated right now. If you want to toggle between the different sheets, you might want to use control page up, PGUP, and page down, control PGDN. So this is a shortcut key which actually helps you toggle between the different sheets, especially in case if you're working with multiple worksheets. Now let me take a test data before I talk about other shortcut keys. Let me go to sample data one, which you will also find in the Excel case study file. The advantage with us is that you have both the videos, the trainer with you, and the Excel case studies to practice on. So let's go ahead. First things first, if you work with data, the primary step is to choose the data before you can apply sort, filter, or pivot table, isn't it? Now, given the data we have, I wish to apply a certain filter. Now to do that, I must choose the data. Mm -hmm. Now, if I place my cursor on any one cell and press Control A, notice it chooses the data, but it stops at the point where there is a blank row. So to circumvent this, I will take you through another series of shortcut key, which will help you select the data. So I place my cursor on the orange cell and I keep shift control pressed with my left hand. I'm keeping shift control pressed, keeping it pressed. Now let me put my right hand side finger on the right arrow key. What it does, it quickly selects the data on one direction. That is the right direction. Then keeping shift control pressed. I pull the down arrow key, down arrow key, down arrow key, down arrow key, and I'll continue till the last line of the data. Now, although it helps you in selecting the data, but notice since there are so many blanks, it is actually making your life worse. So now let me again take you to a shortcut key, which is going to help solve this problem. So put your cursor on the orange cell. We will not be using control shift right and down. Instead, we'll be using shift control end key now what is shift control end key doing if i take you to a blank worksheet and if i write some letter let's say a b and let us see uh, or maybe d notice this cell has been the last used cell of this worksheet now even if i delete that particular letter and then place my cursor on letter a and then if i press shift control end key it takes my selection right from active cell to the last used cell so I used this trick. Why? Because orange cell was the active cell and shift control end key helped me take the selection to the last used cell. Now at times it may happen there could be other cells which have been used previously and there is no data. So if you intend to apply shift control end key, it will take your selection to the last cell. A couple of things. This has allowed you to skip the blanks and choose the last cell. But wait. You do not want to choose the cells, uh, in fact, columns of B, F, G, H, I, and J. So what do we do? We want to reduce the selection. So one step at a time, shift key pressed and then left, 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 left. Now only three columns have been chosen. Now what shift right, right or left does is it allows you to select one column or row at a time in terms of direction you are taking. At the same time, you would say, look, I've chosen the data, but I want to go back to the header, right? So if I press control backspace key, notice the data is still selected and yet your selection appears to be taking you to the header because I've seen people, what they do, once they've selected the data, they use the scroll bar on the right to reach to the header of the data. This could be painful task, especially if you're working with really large data. So just summarizing what have we learned, we talked about control A, we talked about shift control right down down and better than that on occasions we also use shift control end key in terms of selection reducing the selection shift left 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 and control backspace key to help me go to the header more shortcuts on way as you go to the next video